Simone Bowles recently became Owens after marrying her husband in a modest courthouse wedding in Texas. A lot of brides desire huge weddings with a large guest list and expensive gowns, but Simone was happy and smiling from ear to ear in a $120 dress and $35 shoes. While she was excited about their special day, you had people trying to rip her up over her hair. And you already know who it was criticizing this woman's edges. With all that she's been through, the last thing that she was thinking about on a hot, humid Houston day is her hair, especially on a day that she was marrying her husband. Simone responded to the critics, and we're going to get into that. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Oh, Simone Biles, this woman, she's done everything right despite the adversity and hardships that she's been dealt coming up as a young girl. She was born Simone Ariane Biles on March 14, 1997 in Columbus, Ohio. The third of four siblings, her mother was a single mother who could not take care of her kids properly, so Simone ended up in and out of foster care very early in life. That's until she was about three years old. Her mother's father found out his daughter wasn't taking care of his grandbabies, and he took all four children. Her grandfather relocated the children from Ohio to a Houston suburb, Spring, Texas. He and his new wife, that was his second wife, a woman from Belize, took care of Simone and her three siblings for three years before they ended up adopting two of them, and the oldest two were adopted by Simone's grandfather's sister. Simone was one of the two children permanently adopted by her grandfather. Outside of her grandfather's house, she was raised in the Catholic Church, school, and the gym. The young gymnast so dedicated to the sport that by the time that she was 15, she switched to homeschool so that she could spend more time at the gym. Simone verbally committed to UCLA on August 4, 2014 and signed a letter of intent a few months later in November 2014. She graduated from high school in 2015, but the whole time UCLA was already aware that Simone would wait a year before enrolling in college. She said that she wanted to defer enrollment until after the 2016 Summer Olympics. The summer of 2015 after she graduated from high school, Simone had a change of heart. On July 29th, 2015, she announced that she would turn professional and forfeit her NCAA eligibility, passing on UCLA. She made a different move following her own path and enrolled in an online degree program in order to compete at the highest level. Simone has seven Olympic medals, four of them gold, and holds the record for the most Olympic medals won by an American gymnast. Having won 25 World Championship medals, Simone is the most decorated gymnast in the history of the Gymnastics World Championships. She's also considered the greatest gymnast of all time. After her monumental performances at the 2016 Olympics, Dr. Lawrence Nasser, longtime doctor of the U.S. Women's National Gymnastics Team, was put on front street when he was arrested for using his position as the team doctor to violate girls and young women for 18 years. Simone came out and revealed that she was one of those victims. She broke down when she had to face the childhood trauma. It was a very stressful time. And then years later in 2021, she spoke at a hearing on the FBI's mishandling of the case, saying the FBI turned a blind eye to Dr. Nasser and served up girls to him on a platter. He's accused of violating hundreds of victims, but was sentenced for crimes against 10 of them to 40 to 175 years in prison without the possibility of parole. In 2020, during the pandemic, Simone met Houston Texan safety Jonathan Owens on an app. Simone says she was the one who sent Jonathan a message first. Jonathan said he hadn't heard of Simone before, and she really liked that. The two realized they were in the same area, so they started chatting it up, and a week or two later, they met each other for the first time. During the pandemic, they both had a lot of free time. Jonathan off from the NFL, Simone away from her normal schedule. So they used that time to get to know each other. The 2020 Olympics was postponed to 2021, but because of physical and mental stress, 
Simone ended up withdrawing from all of the finals, except for the balance being where she took home the bronze medal. Jonathan, very supportive of her decision, cheered her on from America while she was in Tokyo. One thing Jonathan said that he liked about Simone was that she was always happy, giggly, and bubbly. In the year and a half into their relationship, the couple announced their engagement on IG. Then over a year after the engagement announcement in April 2023, the couple got married and shared their wedding photos. Simone didn't need some big extravagant wedding. They went to the courthouse. She had the happiest pictures, but the miserable, bitter Bettys, they just kept searching and searching, trying to find something wrong with them. They looked really good. They took to social media to criticize her hair, the critiques surrounding her edges, these idiots saying things like her edges should have been laid, some even saying that she should have worn a lace front, just all kinds of silliness. While celebrating their new marriage, Simone ended up responding. She said, I think they also forgot that I live in Houston, Texas, and I sweat those out soon as we stepped outside for pics. She's talking about her edges. But they can keep complaining, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So let's be real here, you already know it was black women doing this. They want to talk about Simone's hair now. And I remember when Gabby Douglas was competing, they talked about her hair too. They even talked about Blue Ivy's hair when she was a baby. We're talking about women who are the first ones to call people colorists, a featurist, a texturist, whatever is you could think of. But the biggest colorist in general is the black woman herself. And right after her is a so-called brown woman. They are the main ones talking about colorism, but the first ones to pick on black women, happy in their natural state without fake edges and fake lace fronts on their heads. It's crazy. The people talking about her, they probably don't even have edges or no hair at all besides the one they buy from the Asian lady. And then they have the nerve to talk about this lady's hair on her wedding day when most of them will never get married to anybody. Just crazy, worried about the wrong thing. Clearly Simone is happy. She's a great woman, she's accomplished. She's got what she's wanted out of life. And she's not sitting up here like Lolo Jones, waiting until she's 40 to cry about a man. Simone is only 26 years old. And speaking of Lolo Jones, Lolo, if you spent more time on the important things, you wouldn't be scrambling around at over 41 years old, whining about dating and hanging out around your old college LSU, trying to throw dirt on Angel Reese and get the current track team jealous of her because of comments that Shaq made that had nothing to do with you, by the way, because you're not the greatest at anything but causing drama for those track members at LSU talking about Angel Reese and speaking out loud about things that you all talked about amongst each other. You know, stuff they didn't want you to share with the whole country on TMZ. And yes, Lolo Jones, she's another old bitter Betty. Lolo, I saw what you was doing. Don't think we didn't see you. And shout out to Angel Reese again. Now, these same women talking about Simone's edges, they got that Lolo energy. That's what I'm going to call it, the Lolo energy. Simone is doing just fine. It's great to see that she's still a happy, bubbly woman after all that she's been through. I'm sure her grandfather and grandmother, they are super happy for Simone. And I am too. She's not problematic at all. She maintains positive habits to keep herself level-headed and satisfied with life. I wish Simone and Jonathan nothing but the best and may the insecure childish women who don't like their own hair grow to love their natural state as much as Simone loves hers. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about all of this below. Special thank you to our sister, Keita G. As always, Keita, you know I appreciate you for your support. Shout out to our brothers, Tony and Marcus, as well as Kimberly watching with her daughters. Both of them run track and they really like the video I did where I covered Lolo Jones, Allison Felix, Shelly Ann Frazier, and Sonya Richie Ross. It was a really great case study, so you should definitely watch that video next. The link will be below. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.